So does she get into Juilliard? Yes! The SNL audience was so surprised and so excited by Julia Stiles' sudden appearance during Weekend Update last night that it almost became a weekday update. Michael Che didn't know what to do. He didn't know what was going on. Afterwards, Julia snapped the evidence she needed to prove that she once had her name on an SNL dressing room door. Julia was there to back up Chloe Feynman's holiday gift guide. The perfect holiday gift this year is the dance that Julia Stiles does at the end of the 2001 movie, <laughs> Save the Last Dance. Julia Instagrammed a shot of the two backstage and wrote, Live from NY, baby. Thanks a million, Chloe, for the time warp. I had a blast. <laughs> Chloe commented, we all love you so much at SNL, would a dream come true? There hardly anyone other than Lauren Michaels would have been there when Julia last hosted, and that was in March 2001. It is great to be here hosting Saturday Night Live. This is actually the 500th original episode of the show. Two months after Save the Last Dance was a surprise hit at the box office. I thought you were wonderful in it. Wow, Tracy, thanks. Yeah. And the scene where you kissed that black dude, man. <laughs> last night, Julia didn't mind spoiling the ending 22 years later. Sarah did get into Juilliard. How? Well, you, you didn't see the end of the dance. And we didn't see it last night either. Hit it! Yeah, I assumed they recreated the dance, and then I watched the scene from Save the Last Dance, and no, they didn't. Julia was there for the goodbyes as well, alongside host Adam Driver and musical guest Olivia Rodrigo. Julia Stiles! In her, as Julia describes it, Sunday morning delirium post, she writes, what a full circle delight. Yeah, Julia pulled it up in her PVR this morning and yeah, filmed her TV when they got to the goodbyes and she was not impressed with her performance in that segment. Yeah. 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 <laughs> time for a soliloquy, Julia. <laughs> now, Julia was at a loss for words last night. Before the pictures and captions I just showed you, this was Julia's first post last night at about 1.15, like 15 minutes after the show wrapped. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Yeah, Notorious B.I.G.'s Juicy from 1994 said it better than Julia could initially. But sometimes, words aren't necessary. And her crush Derek skips a drive-by shooting to come support her. <laughs> After SNL poked fun at Sean Patrick Thomas' character Derek, he shows up holding a jacket over his shoulder and gives a nod of approval. <laughs> and by the way, it was more than just a nod of approval. Clearly the director said to Sean, like, okay, give me some where you're really focusing on what she's doing. Okay, now give me some where you're really feeling it. And now somewhere you're silently encouraging her. Perfect. They probably did a few more, you know, maybe when he's crying or he's angry, you know, just to cover all the bases, get all the emotions in there. And then, yeah, that's a wrap for him. <laughs> now, last night, I don't know if this is pure coincidence, but Sean, once again, showed his support without saying anything. He simply commented on Julia's post with Chloe, two applause and a thumbs up. Even if it was just a happy accident, Sean... Take credit for the cleverness. Now, a lot of people were pointing out that the 42-year-old version of Julia Stiles looks exactly like the 21-year-old version of Julia Stiles. Yeah, exactly double the age. She looks amazing. But yeah, what did you think of Julia Stiles' surprise appearance on Saturday Night Live last night to show that it wasn't the last dance after all? Julia Stiles.